Welcome to The Anxious Morning. Every weekday morning, we'll take a few minutes to go over some important lessons that you can use in your anxiety recovery journey. Away from the endless, noisy scroll of social media, The Anxious Morning brings you support, education, inspiration, encouragement, and empowerment. For more, visit us at theanxiousmorning.com. We speak often about the benefits of focus training and learning to pay attention as part of the recovery process. I will continue to do that because cultivating the ability to decide where to place our focus and to keep it there is hugely helpful in moving us forward. I've written and spoken at length on the ideas of meditation, mindfulness, and learning to slow down as key aspects of focus and attention training. I'm always on the lookout for more. Recently, I came across The 12 Monotasks by Thatcher Wine. In The 12 Monotasks, Thatcher examines 12 activities that can be used as exercises in doing one thing at a time and remaining fully engaged with that one thing while you're doing it. If you followed my Learning to Slow Down video series that I ran when I released 7% Slower, you would recognize some of those tasks as I covered them in that series. While I spoke about things like walking, listening, and eating as basic mindfulness and focus tools, the 12 monotasks takes that idea a step further by concentrating on the act of only eating, only walking, or only listening at any given time. When walking, just walk. When eating, just eat. When listening, just listen. Put down your phone, silence all of your gadgets, and just do that one thing. This is not a new idea, of course. But in a world where we are praised for multitasking and surrounded by distractions designed to get and keep our attention, the idea of monotasking seems almost archaic. There is a method to that madness, though. When I talk about refocusing and paying attention to things other than your anxious thoughts and sensations, these can be challenging asks. If you find yourself struggling to learn and practice these ideas, maybe take a look at monotasking. You may find that the simple premise that you will do just one task at a time crystallizes these concepts. Committing to doing one thing at a time may make it easier for you to work on your focus and attention skills. Give it a try. Turn off your phone for a while. Turn off the TV. Stop scrolling. Stop reading. Stop listening. Stop talking. Just walk. Just eat. Just breathe. Just drink. Do one thing at a time. Resisting the urge to go for the distractions and giving yourself permission to do just one thing for the next few minutes can help quiet things down, slow things down, and create an environment where you can practice paying attention, remaining focused, and being mindful of each moment. But don't tell all your entrepreneur hustle friends that you're doing just one thing at a time. Their heads might explode, and we don't want that. Tomorrow, we'll examine the recovery by committee phenomenon that can accidentally become a trap. Hey, if you're enjoying the podcast and you'd like to get a copy of it delivered every morning into your email inbox, including a full text transcription, head on over to theanxiousmorning.email and sign up for the newsletter. And if you're listening on iTunes or Spotify or someplace where you can leave us a rating or a review, take a moment and rate the podcast and maybe write a small review. It really helps us out. Or... Just tell a friend about us. Thanks a lot.